everybody. It's a nice brisk 15 degree morning here in Oklahoma. So we got the old tornado heaters, torpedo heaters, whatever the hell they are. Cranked up here to try to get us some warmth in the shop. Aiden working on us a bit. Monkey come over, got the steering all fixed up and ready to go. So hooking it up. Try to uh, halfway align it and then move on to the next project on this part we got. The intake is on permanently now. Uh, we've got most of the wiring done. Somehow it got cut. Somehow it got cut. Whatever got taken off 55, so I gotta fix that. Not a big deal. Uh, fuel system's all done and connected. All the red horse stuff turned out nice, like we talked about. Uh, trying to figure out what else we got going on. We got shock brackets in so we can get the new quick performance rear end all set up and. Then pull it out, take it to powder coat, put the old one back in, measure for a new dynamic drive line, drive shaft. So it's getting there. Uh, you know, just need time and parts, just like everything else. So uh, if you haven't already, go ahead, click the subscribe button to the channel, guys. Uh, like the video, comment on the video, tell us what you like. Um, go to the website. We got plenty of stuff for sale on there. www.themurdernova.com and uh, fill the card up and help us help us uh, get set up for this MPK season. It's going to be even more probably brutal than the last season. So uh, stick around and we'll show you some more stuff on this Chevelle here. She a little tight? Yeah. He oh man, no, what? no, 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 no. Go get a, a punch, a small punch. Something that won't break quite so yeah, easy. Yeah, that right there, he's gonna snap that off. He uh, he pulled all this steering shaft out and painted it. And then whenever you turned it one way, it was two and a half. You turned it the other way, it was one and three quarters. So uh, you gotta try to line it up with the difference it's aligned and all that, yeah. I think this one was pointed just a little bit that way, so we're gonna point it a little bit this way, and then we're gonna see. there oh that's it what? that's it get the right tools yep just make shit easy yep Dalton said he's changing so I didn't tell you what Dalton's saying got going on you can film this I don't care okay somebody has got in Dalton's head about converters oh no he's pulling the, the loose converter out of his truck He's putting a stock converter in it because he thinks it'll make more power. I go, it probably yeah, will make it more will. power. It's gonna lose ET though. Yep. He doesn't get it. He doesn't understand. More power, yeah. I said, we gotta think about this, man. It, it's not gonna allow that thing to flash okay. what it needs to flash to. And then whenever you shift it, it's gonna drop 1500. Yep. Here, here's here's another way to, to that really uh, let's, get... Let's, let's, let's step over here into my office. Okay, so take take the MPK card. Let's just for example, the turbo, the turbo twin turbo small block made right at 4,000 horsepower, right? And it, it showed it. It would go 200 to 202, right? But it's peak. Okay. Now, the Pro Charge MPK Nova, same car, uh, actually weighs 200 pounds more, or 150 pounds more. It still goes 200. It, it will, it will. 199, yeah, yeah. 198, yeah. 199. We have, for the record, we have not been 200. We yet. have not. But on a dyno, that thing will only show 32, 3300. You know why? Um, I mean, there's probably several reasons. Well, I mean, but that converter is loose as shit. 100%. Yeah. So it ETs way better. Mile per hour's close. Honestly, probably makes pretty close to the same crank horsepower. Uh, across the board, it probably actually makes more, and that's the reason that you can have a looser converter and it will ET, let's just be honest, probably a little bit faster, at least more than what ours did. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yes, and that's the reason uh, we like it to be loose out of the hole, because once it gets out there, we have the ability to not lock it up, yeah. but it seems like it does. It's, uh, it comes it gets close. pretty close. It comes close. <laughs> it gets pretty close. So. so but yes, 
you wasn't here and I was explaining it to him, but how do you explain stuff like that to kids? You go, right on, man. Well, well let me know. I mean, it's, it's, we're no different, honestly. I know. Like, it's, like, there's some stuff we just got to try. But that's what makes, makes him, him. Right. He's going to try things regardless. Yep. So, that's what he's doing today. He's, he's trying things. Oh, he hey. said, now, if it slows down, I'll put the other one back in it. And I said, well. I've got a converter that would make that truck really fast. He said, man let's be honest I, I don't dig race this thing he was like it can't dig race it don't have the suspension for it he said so really all i've been doing is roll racing he got beat by a mustang or something and he's I, upset no i've seen he it. is upset about it yeah, i was so, upset with him yeah, yeah. <laughs> so and, and honestly a stock converter somewhere in the middle if you're going to roll race yeah. uh, that converter that he has is loose okay. there's no doubt about it um Honestly, if that truck made more horsepower, the stock converter would probably be better. But the horsepower it makes, I feel like he's going to be real disappointed in that yeah. stock converter. Yeah. Eh. Got to learn things on live, his own. Live and learn, you know? man. So. But I've got the converter. It's the same exact converter that was in the man van. Yeah. Make that truck real fast. But uh, it might still be a little bit tight for that, though. Yeah. That makes half better, the power. Better than a stock one, though. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, whatever. If yep. he's roll racing it. And like I told him, he goes, I think it'll make more power. I go, oh, it will. There's no doubt about it. A tighter converter will make more power on the dyno. But because an ET is good. Right. We're going to lose that down low. Yeah. So. Whatever. Yeah, hey, live and learn. Yep. At least he's doing it. Yep. So anyways, after he gets done with that, he said he'd come over today. Hey, hey. Fairly straight. What? The wheel's not straight. Yeah, it was. I just turned, I just turned it straight before I came back here. Okay, well, it is turned. Okay, let's see. Okay, pull that out. That is not straight. Well, you can't get this without pulling this still out, or you pull this still out to turn out. Okay. So, pull it out. Pull it out. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Madam, go over there and straighten that. That pretty straight? It's straight right now. Okay. Okay. Put one bolt in it. Let's do our rotation. And let's see. What was it? Like a tooth off or something? Uh, I'm hoping. All right, roll, roll it all the way one way and count. Here's one, two, two. Ooh, <laughs> this mean, is gonna be close. Now go back to middle. Okay, okay. now go the other way. One, two. I can't mean, get any closer than that. The rest of that will get out with the, yep. with the tie rods. Okay, tighten it all up. Make sure it's all good. That's all tight. After that, Aiden. Whew. Man, you didn't bring your front end in. Man, so they're both. Yeah, no, wait. they're like this, and they're also like this. Things, things still gotta, you know, we just put all that on. So. Yeah. Um, I would get that blanket. Oh, it wasn't the floor right over there. Um, I'd get that blanket, lay it out right here, and then we'll bring your front end in. And then after that, actually, I can fix this first. Oh, get yeah. it on there and tighten it tighten everything up and then we can get ready to put your front end back on it uh because pretty much everything under here is done yeah you still have you know a little bit of yeah i can do that from underneath this one here won't be too bad i just gotta figure out what's what like the purple wire is the one that actually drives the injector the reds are just powers so no big deal yeah it shouldn't be the only thing is figuring out what is what so that they're not yeah, which we can just hook the plug the ECU in and should be able to fire the injector and tell me which, which one is which. which. Yeah. Uh, other than that, we can put the front end on it, uh, wire all that up, and then get the, the radiator and everything lined out yep. while me and you work on this over here. Yep. Uh, Aiden and Dalton over here working on getting inner fenders out, losing some weight on this rig. Monkey is about to 
fit the new shock brackets onto the new quick performance housing. Got the fuel system all ran back here, just waiting for us to put the uh, gas tank back gas tank back in it. Make a lot of noise, make a lot of noise. Side needs to come, come up. up about six inches. I don't know about that. It's pretty level right there. Really? <laughs> uh, you, saying, now, like, now your side needs to come up. Well, we need to take the whole rear in. Yeah, the whole rear needs to go up, right? Yeah. You gotta go to like what? Right height? That's kind of where I was at, so we can just get measurements, make sure it's centered. Make sure. So, so I'd say somewhere right in there would be right height. Probably, because it's pretty damn low. Your side needs to come up with just a touch. Yep. Well, I sure hope that's not the right height. Why? Much bump and we're gonna get into the original Nova chassis problems. Is that really right height? I mean, I guess it would be if those arms were straight out, huh? there and we can fucking see. Uh -huh. Hold it up there in the middle. Oh, you just hit yourself in the chin, didn't you? Ah, oh, <laughs> did you? <laughs> that hair just kind of yeah. pushed it off. Uh -huh. right off. Dang, he's got that big old goatee. Shoot, up a little bit. Hey, if that's ride height, I'll be, st I'll be yeah, totally I mean, good with that, monkey. Yeah. I feel like that might even be a little bit low. Which I love it, don't get me wrong. But... Yeah, that's good though. Huh? That's good. Shoot. It's gonna tuck that tire. I mean, you know, hey, it wasn't tucking. The, the lift of the wheel was about like this. Oh, okay. So it, it could still come down or come up. It could go either way, yeah. and I'd be all right with it. stuff up in there. There's just nastiness everywhere in here. Look at this side. That's how it happens. Oh, all this nastiness oh. caught up in there. Um, so this for sure goes to all that. Man, look at this thing been sitting outside. I don't know, but we ain't gonna oh, use none of that. Transmission. Yeah, these were transmission, but I don't know what this is. Wow. Well, we'll make one of those. One now. of those will go to the, the yeah, the steam vent. Oh, this one's got a drain pet cock on it also. Yeah. Nice. That's one of those $100 eBay, uh, eBay yeah. that you got. Yeah. Uh, and the electric fans work really good. Yeah, no, this part never overheated or anything. Well, and Aiden would sit and idle the shit out of it. Could have sounded cool. Yeah, I did. And I told him, it'll never sound it, like that Them days again. are over. Just go out. Oh man, look at this headlight not even in it. Well, you don't take very good care of your shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You, I, that is not what I said. <laughs> what you're going to get it everywhere. You just said blow all that out. No, I didn't. I said suck it all out. No, you said blow Suck it all out. out. Get, go get the, the vacuum and suck it all out of there. There's about to be a mess in here. Man. Hey. Hey. Doing some measuring. Yeah, I'm just trying to make sure it's. See, Monkey does things right. We do. I'd win. <laughs> Here, Monkey, I marked these for you. <laughs> He'd be like, that's where you want that, huh? Yeah, <laughs> Aiden and Dalton getting the new Motion Raceworks valve covers on on the Chevelle here. 
So I brought him two, right? I brought him two different choices of valve covers. It, this was a test. Yeah. Brought him some nice, cool looking shiny ones. And I brought him some nice American made, nice ones. Yes. It was a test and I, I feel like he passed. Looks good. I like those. Yeah, they're nice billet nice pieces. Nice baffled, already has the, the, the hole there for the catch cans. Yep. Like, that's a nice piece. Yep. Uh, is that a 13? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So these come with the cool brackets, kind of a modular deal. Put the coils on the brackets, bolt the bracket to the head. Boom, done. Now we're, we're kind of getting some electrical stuff in line here. So, so we can we put can the front least, end on. And, and we can at least, well, and honestly, we may not even have to put the front end on yet. Yeah. But we can at least uh, run some power to some stuff, start checking all of our, our electronics, you know, click everything through the fuel tech. Yep. And just see about it. Yeah. You ready to fire this deal? I mean, I, I mean, it should be. Should be. So, this came directly out of the 55. Everything. Like, literally everything. Yeah, we and ran this the whole season. Uh, the only thing that we did was put this pro charger on this motor. Right. So, but all this crank trigger stuff was set up by Luis at FuelTech. And all we did was take it off the 55 and bolt it in the exact same location in this car. So, I mean, it should eliminate us from... In, in, in all reality, we should be able to fire it right up. TPS is hooked up. We already did the learn. Yes. All the vacuum lines are hooked up. We don't have any fuel leaks that we can see. Um, we gotta do is fire it up, listen to it, make sure that the crash didn't hurt the motor. That's the only thing that we didn't do was we have not fired this thing up since the crash. We did, well, we didn't really have it apart. All we did was put a cam in it. Oh yeah, no, we took it apart and put a cam. And everything looked fine. Yeah. Nothing up here got beat up. Yeah. I mean, hell, it's the same pro charger. Yeah. Like none of this, you know, old 55 steel was strong. Yeah. Had that good American steel. Yeah. So it should fire up. That, that fuel pump lets you know it's working. Yep. We're here, boss. Yep. Ready to go. Ready? Ish? Yeah. So I haven't hooked up the O2s yet, so it'll probably idle even a little better. One track's hooked up. I just don't understand what's going on with the belt. The belt is trying to jump on us, which, you know. And it sounds good though. God dang. That new cam is, is different. Yeah. It's a, uh, that's not your normal LS cam there. Still hydraulic roller. Man, it's, it's got some pop to it. What do you think, Aiden? Man, it sounds amazing. Compared, like, after all the stuff that y'all hyped up about how it's never gonna sound as good as it did with 350, it's yeah, pretty. Yeah, 350's I know, it sounds, sound no, it analysis. sounds amazing, for sure. But this is a close second. It is, it sounds good. The, the whole Stainless Works exhaust that was on it worked out amazing, and it still sounds killer. It'll sound better whenever it gets a little bit lower to the ground, too. We got quite a bit of transmission fluid leaking. Yeah. But 
It tells me that the pump is pumping. And that's good. <sighs> that's all I wanted to do is hear it. All I needed to do is hear it, make sure that we're not pissing in the wind, <laughs> and that it's knocking, something like that, and the belt scared me for a little while. It kind of sounded like something up front wasn't happy. Uh, it makes all the oil pressure. What was it at, 80, 80? 80 right there. That's better than lots of stuff that we have around here. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Good oil pressure, man, it chops. Sounds good. Valve train's nice and quiet. Now all we gotta do is finish putting it back together, which is the easy stuff. Yep. All the hard stuff is done. Finish the rear end. Oh yeah, Aiden's over there. Did you show the rear end? Quick performance rear end. So, I just don't want to be beating on it right now. How did it work? Did it work? I think it's flush right here. It's clear. Yeah, no, that's yeah. good. Okay. Don't go any further than that because if you hit it harder, you'll end up messing these threads up. Okay. And try to use the same nut or use a different oh, yeah. one every time. I got this nut right here. Or use a different one every time because eventually you'll, you'll wear that out. Tear the threads out of that nut. Yeah. <laughs> so, in fact, that's what I would do. I would. The one that you use this one for, I put back on that just like that, and then use a different one every time. Because one time ain't gonna hurt that nut. 15 times might. 15 times gets excessive. This came out pretty good. Yeah. Um, it came to us uh, from quick performance with these brackets. Monkey welded on the ones for these, for the shocks, and he also welded on the ones for the anti-roll bar. Other than that, this is how it came from Quick Performance. Uh, we took it up to our local powder coaters, uh, Affordable Coating Solution. Affordable Solution Coating? Affordable Coating Solutions. One of those. ACS. Yep, and uh, they knocked it out for us in a day. So, I think the clear looks amazing. So, come over here, nothing to it now but to finish it. Yep. Uh, uh, if, yeah. We will, uh, we still got to put the water tank in the trunk. Uh, fuel system's done. We still have to, hopefully by the end of today, I can get these things filled up. Uh, we can, if we can find some solid stock aluminum, I'll put the alternator on it today. Uh, and then we can put the front end back on it. Still got to put a throttle cable on it. Bunch of easy stuff. Down, down to all the little stuff before we can drive it. Uh, we have no drive shaft yet. We did measure for it, uh, so it's coming. Uh, and then a uh, shift linkage, and we should be good to go. What do you got going on now? Um, I am trying to, should have done this throttle before. Before we piled everything wire, in the way. Before we piled all this wire everywhere. Um, now there's a whole lot of fangs in my way, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know what, Dalton? I'm gonna have to find, I'm gonna have to find a washer. I don't like it, but we're gonna have to do it. So, ooh, so. Time for a throttle cable. Heard the first fire up there. Got Dalton in here, speeding throttle cables and things through the firewall. Oh, oh, that may as well be a, a thread and a needle. <laughs> what? This sucks, doesn't it? That's what I've been told. <laughs> I got it. There it is. Oh, you got all the yeah. goodie out of that one. Mm -hmm. I'm grab another one. I can still use this one for one more, probably.
Okay? Some of them go through pretty easy. Oh, you pulled the wire all the way out? Yeah, because I couldn't get the washer or the milk. Okay, now. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, tighten that thing up and stop the machine. Oh, but this guy's hot. I just grabbed it. Okay. Five more. Halfway yeah, there. But on like ones like this guy right here, it won't even get any of the threads through. in there that i can't grab a thread to press it in there oh, okay well you try no i'm just telling you it, like i'm just okay. telling you that you can't okay yeah just do what you can hit it up in there it's getting tight keep going uh i get it pretty tight let me let me see i i, I need to hold it on this side Put the nut on there without anything. Whatever you can do. You may have to get in there and hit it with a hammer. Anything you gotta do, get it up to get the nut on there. And then pull it a little bit and then put a washer behind it. And pull it a little bit more, whatever you gotta do. Okay, I'm holding it, tighten it. That's pretty tight right there. Not what it looks like. Not at all. Wish this side had a little pad. Did I hit it? Yeah, you hit it. to get to. Uh-huh. What well, he's about to do. Ah. Why? <laughs> I want that to fit on it. It's just the way it is. He tried to get the ratchet wrench on it. I said, nah. He goes, why? <laughs> <laughs> do it on your back. 
laying in a driveway. Uh huh. You don't even know what it's like. You got you're spoiled with all these. Don't get the dollar for reason to call Cre spoiled. Creature comforts. <laughs> Nobody in the comments would ever consider you spoiled. Never. That's never happened. Not one time. Look, you can say a lot of things, man. I have a lot of nice cars. Uh huh. I could have just gave him one. Oh yeah. That yep. Chevelle came out of a fucking barn that we gave, what, five grand for it? Five grand. Five grand for it. So, yes. You stole that thing. Yes, I've put a lot of nice parts on this car. I ain't just buy him something already done. Nope. Would have been a lot easier. Sometimes I wish I wouldn't have. <laughs> they wouldn't have sat here for a year and a half. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or two years, whatever it ended up being. Nine months a year. At first, he thought it was three. Uh-huh. Three years. When he first got the car, basically. Yeah. It had been sitting since he got it out of that barn. He's the one that threw the drive shaft out of it, but, you know, broke it. Yep. Oh, yeah. He didn't even get it. Whatever. We'll put an LS in it. Here we are. Yep. That drive shaft wasn't my fault. It was the fact that it was from 1972. Whoa, whoa, and the whoa, fact whoa. that y'all didn't tighten the bolts when you put it in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There you go. Oh, no, <laughs> there you go. No, no, no. Those bolts were loose, Aiden. <laughs> It happened after y'all did the exhaust. No, we got underneath it, and you said, oh yeah, the U-bolt's still in it. And I was like, yeah, it's tight. I don't know. I don't remember. I remember thinking it was y'all's fault. At the end of the day, it was their yeah. fault, for sure. All you think is a star fault. Well, it wasn't ours. Yep. We'll fill that one more hole in the firewall. Oh yeah, I hadn't uh, showed that yet. Man, this thing's real deal race car now. It's got carbon fiber on it. So we had some carbon laying around from an old. This something. is an old belly pan out of the Nova. That's what it was. So, so I did up. For the record, I thought I had some aluminum. Somewhere we do, but it's some cold. black aluminum. And the boys went out there. They said we ain't got none. You know. So now it's carbon. And now I'll carbon this one too. From the back side. That's pretty close to a perfect circle. I did that with a uh, cutoff wheel. <laughs> How many times Look, did it shut off? None on this. And as soon as it touches it, it goes through this. Yeah. Like butter. I, uh, I'm still impressed with how it sounds. Like, Me too. let's be honest. Like, I love LSs, but they don't sound that cool most of the time. You know what they'd sound better than? Coyotes. Coyotes. Yeah, for sure. But nothing beats the sound of an old small block or an old big block. Yep. But this sounds pretty good. Got a lot of transmission fluid leaking everywhere. I know. It's weird. Figure it out. Boom. Probably could have put it right I on that I should have put it right there. done with that I gotta get some bolts for the alternator and I would really like to have the rear end in it today get the axles Beat them uh, in. dip them in some uh, grease that old maxima and then slide them in figure out which one goes on which side oh that's a oh, flash spot right there no you still gotta put the studs in is that what that little box right there is that a stud kit yeah all right put them in it Got him a nice little flat spot there. Yeah. Alright, let's try it. Uh, yep. No, that's that's sufficient. That should that should work. Probably the 
probably put just something on that bearing up there too. You're gonna have to lift it, you know, like you do a camshaft. Uh, lift it and then get it in. Uh, there you go. There it is. Now you can usually turn it and spin it until it goes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, take your finger, put a little bit around that, and then, whoop. Oh. I know it wasn't a lot. <laughs> he dipped the whole shaft in there and then he just barely gets a little bit. Yeah, I put I put more chapstick on than that. <laughs> here, here, here. Let's get it off the caliper. We're gonna need that. Already in? Oh, pretty close. I mean, pretty close. That goes just like that. Just needed a workout today. That's all. This is for y'all's benefit that's watching. So I, did not. Not to I did not. Like, you got I did not. I got I've got uh we can't no, not yet, but <laughs> I promise I hit a few more. I got weak hands anymore, man. Yeah. Pathetic. Embarrassing. Oh man. Y'all are way off. There, there it is. like this right here and 
a smaller one. I feel like it needs the, the smaller ones on it. I think it needs the bigger one. Look at that. Look how big that gap is. Look how yeah. close it is there. This side look is real bad. And mind the gap. No, it's, I mean. Yeah, I wonder if, I wonder if that's why they sent all those shares. Lift it up with this and let's look. Yeah, I'm thinking that's probably why they got some shares. Maybe so, but if we could just use that bigger. Man, is the radiator going to fit with the pipe? Perfect. Yep. <laughs> It's gonna be precise, almost like it was built for this car. Yeah. Monkey, I'm cool. With, let's just put these bolts in like this, and then uh, I'll show you how I do things. I'll show you sometime. I have my daddy come over and line all this <laughs> up for me. Have your daddy do it for you. <laughs> I'm gonna have daddy do it. <laughs> Same thing Aiden's gonna do. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Because hey. You can see that this one was all the way forward as far as it would go, but I also believe it needs to be lifted up just a little bit. And a couple hey, stands. look. So, and, I mean, we have this much more if we need to come up, but we, we may also get two jack stands and set the rear end and set it on the ground I, to see I if that- I would like to have it on the ground. Yeah. Because I know what this front, front end is doing, remember? But this right here will help sturdy it up. So basically what we need to do is we need to get some something. Jack stands? And then have dad. We can put jack stands underneath the back end and let it down. Yeah. Do we have any more than those two? We almost had some the other day. <laughs> if we didn't get them. <laughs> we can take those. We can put this thing on the ground right now. Okay. We got everything in it. three maybe three and a half three years it definitely ain't fitting under a hood get underneath there find some rags or something because monkey doesn't care about your rear end <laughs> nope he's just gonna do it that's right you go, okay come down yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i'm gonna turn the stairs What do you say? He said, you trying to not scratch up your fresh powder coat? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Nope. There ain't nothing else under there. Alright, we'll get this bolted on. And then after that, we just start tidying everything on. up. Yep. You think this thing's charged yet? Yes. We got that new Bluetooth charger. <laughs> so, man, that's a pretty good day on this car. Yeah. I mean, new rear ends in it. We fired it up, and everything worked. Mostly. Oh, yeah. I mean, it worked. It didn't leak. I was about to say everything that's in the car is working. The brake calipers. Oh yeah. Were the wrong ones, but that was just some stuff that we tried to fit yeah. off of old stuff that we had. Yeah. Uh, the the hood is not cut gonna out <laughs> slash cow the whatever is going to be pretty extensive. Yeah. But we also tried to put that motor as high in the car as we could. Yep. It's up there. I like it up there. I I honestly would if I could get it up another two inches, I would. Yeah. Hey, get a tape measure and tell me how far the crank is off the ground. And it better be sixteen at least. Oh, it's at least. I'll say, uh, I think the ride height of the car is still going to come down. Now, so. when you measure from the crank, do you measure from the bottom? Not if you want that crank shaft up. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I, I mean. That don't look bad to me. The front of the car's got to come down uh, another inch, at least. It looks like right there. Oh. My bad. Which floor you can't measure? tape measure. You know, that's What is it, monkey? 16, 17, 16 inches. Exactly. Like there's been some body work done right here. Yeah. In this guy. Um, ugh. Whatever. It's one of those deals. You got to deal with your bullshit. You want it to look cool or you want it to work? If you want it to look cool and work, get out the checkbook. Well, I mean, as of right there. <laughs> go down too much more before we collapse them springs and well no we're not going to collapse the springs but we're almost out of down travel I'm so shock. i'm okay with that uh i don't know how much more the arms will go down though from right there aiden could probably lift the car up but i don't want to do that until we get the everything bolted down because i truly believe that this right here is going to stiffen this for me if i keep a lot of it that's a stiff fender. That's a lot of metal in that yeah, fender. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to tighten both of them down really good. And that is going to help the structure of this front end a little bit. All the strength. The strength. Weight. Sign of reliability. This thing reliable as hell. Is, a, is a train coming by our house? Sounds like it's fixing it to come It sounds like it's pulling through the driveway. Yeah. Maybe it derailed. What do they do? What do they deliver? That's why I asked him one night. I was like, you get used to this yet? He's like, what? I was like, all right, then. Yeah. Never, mind. never mind. I mean, remember how close my old house was to the train tracks? Yeah. It never, never bothered me. Gosh, your bells are cool, man. Yeah. Even ones that are beat up, no paint, like they're just cool Been sitting cars. for three years and some things. I don't care where I'm at, what I'm doing. If I'm sitting at the Sonic and I see a Chevelle roll through and it's chopping the block, oh, yeah. I'm going to stare. Oh, yeah. Yep, no doubt. This one. The way that this thing's gonna chop. This one's gonna be parking lot pimping for sure, to the fullest. So, uh, I, I mean, that's gonna do it for this video on this Chevelle. Obviously, we still got quite a few more updates. Uh, we're gonna come through here, tidy up all the wiring, make all of it permanent finally, and uh, you know, ride height, bolting, figure out what we're gonna do with the hood. I wouldn't mind. It. And I'm going to go out on a limb here and say if the drive shaft comes in this week, we drive this thing next weekend. Yeah. Like yep. It. It's always been a cool car. I'd sell my blue one 15 times over before I'd sell this one. Yeah. Or let Aiden sell it. Yep. It's, uh, it's going to be cool for sure.